Hi there, today I'm going to show you how to assemble the uh, table 4-in-1, this particular um, brand which is Hi Pro. Okay? Maybe some chalk knife. It's pretty heavy, it's 23 kilos, roughly. Hopefully everything is included. Because so I'll just read the reviews on um, Amazon and those things. People were saying that some items were missing, like the bolts um, and the other stuff. So fingers crossed, we've got everything in here. It's pretty well packed and secured. We've got some manual. Lots of sellotape. It should be straightforward. We'll see how it goes. It must be a Lex. Slid up the cover. Put it on the side. And this is, must be a base. Yes, it is. There you go. So this is the base, the bottom base must be for the pool, and we've got some protection sheets, cardboards, we've got some sides for the, uh, the football player, that option, remember it's four in one. So we're going to have different layers for different games. Some brown paper, good for recycling, by the way. And that's another one. Oh, so it's two sides. So that's going to be a pig punk and that's going to be for uh, another game. Another protection. There you go, and we've got the pitch. Right, let's read up the cardboard. That's what we're done with. Let's organize our Place. And now we're already going to do, we're going to go for assembly instructions, which is pretty straightforward, I reckon. We've got all the part lists and step by step what to do. Hopefully it's visible. And game by game, how to assemble all the parts into one. At the end, we're gonna have the uh, base attached to the uh, well, the legs attached to the base, and then and then should be that's it. Okay, so oh, we've got the USB as well connected to the power tag, and also what we've got it should be a to do towards that a power pack, but I'm gonna go through later on. Right. So the first step it should be do, 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 do. It should be a football match on this side. This is not what I need. Thank you. 
raise it. There's a kind of cling film which covers up one of the parts. I'm going to use the uh, sharp knife, but it has to be gently, otherwise, we're going to cut off some unnecessary parts. And this was the uh, high pro. That must be a stabilizer between the uh, legs. As far as I remember, it's more of the cling film. More legs must be four in total. Ooh, plus additional kind of support stuff. Keep the legs on the side. And the last one. Magic box with the treasure inside. Again, be gently using knife you can just damage some of the items which they are hidden inside. <laughs> this is funny stuff. <laughs> Look at the size. <laughs> Ping pong! Well, what do you expect? This is for the kids. Uh, this is the next. And that's for the football. Everything to the side. That you've got the, all the uh, backs with the uh, screws and tools. Another type of the screws. We've got the players, the white players. We've got the uh, plastic black players. There's the, the rubber handle for the uh, sticks, the metal sticks for the uh, football option. Red ones, there's the USB charger, it's supposed to be powered by the uh, battery, hopefully, I, have, I don't know yet, but it's supposed to have a um, rechargeable battery inside, it's supposed to just float in the air, but we'll see how it goes. There's a triangle, that's kind of rubber stuff. For the uh, metal sticks, that must be a uh, ball catcher. This kind of brush, brush your hair, maybe not. We've got the ball, there's the ping pong point. One more fella, one more the kind of washers, the rubber washers. This kind of small plastic steel, it's looked like it's broken, hopefully, it's not. I truly believe it's not broken. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, an issue. I've got another balls for the uh, football games. This is kind of the uh, plaques, the uh, rubber plaques, a sharper for the uh, um, pull. We've got another screws. Oh, there's a set of the balls. There you go. They are pretty heavy. Honestly, I've been expecting it's going to be kind of plastic, really, really um, cheap balls, but they are really decent, to be honest. It's a kind of a kilo. Yeah, weight of this, so it's not that bad, to be honest. Let's keep this on the side. That's really positive. And then more screws, screws. And more stuff over here. I'm gonna find out what it's all about. Right. Oh, there you go. Another big big one. Make sure nothing's left. Right. So we're kind of done with unpacking. 
And now what we have to do is focus on the air manual, which should show you what to do. Right. So, I haven't done this before, so you have to be patient with me, guys. I'm pretty sure you're going to have the same stuff. If you're not going to watch this video, you're not going to know what is going on. So, right. This one's supposed to be worked and then well, we're gonna have number 13 number 15 is the uh, field the plank field upside down so the plank field it must be this one all right so this is the plating upside down it should be getting to the uh, row which is just underneath of the holes when you're gonna have a pulse with the uh, with the players the plastic players all right try to my best okay so this one's supposed to be like that now what we've got we've got to make sure we're gonna match this sides at this stage to be honest I would start with the sides okay because it doesn't make sense to me to go through this way so this is the hole oh, there you go. this should be much better you see Okay, so definitely this one would be outside. So, um, there you go. This way with the uh, sharp uh, straight line over here and the curves over here. So this one gonna go down. It's not that easy as you think, as I thought. But it has to be done. scratches and maybe this time I would do this line this on the flat surface and then start from the sides so you can see this is white side now we're gonna do with the sides tell you right now it's not straightforward okay so you have to be patient I reckon <coughs> it would be useful to have someone else to give you a hand but if you're alone on your own at home and you would like to be a surprise for your little ones your boys or your girls that's gonna be challenging right so once again this whole up one which my side I can see if you see the pattern this like this row you should be going down on the uh, layer it's a kind of IKEA stuff you have to assemble on your own but IKEA is pretty good with the uh, with the details, which they uh, fit each other. This one, it might okay. You see, it's not that easy, and I haven't done this before, so this is the first time I'm doing it. not end of the world you see it's not stable at all but hopefully I'm going to manage to do that okay. Pretty close, pretty close. 
pretty close, or maybe not. At least did some touches. Okay. tell you right now it's not that easy but like you said it's gonna be much easier if you're gonna have someone gonna give you a hand but like I say if you would like to have uh, surprise your kids and do it on your own when your missus is at work your kids are at school and you have to do it on your own that's gonna be a challenging So now we have to put it together. Let's quickly look to the uh, what is going on. I have some windows screws. Uh, assembly number one, step number one. The windows screws number four is a hash four. Let's find out the hash four. Okay, so all the uh, bags are labeled, and I can show you. This is number four. We've got number. Well, this is not labeled. Uh, but the screws are number three, four, six. So we go off to number four. And there are uh, two each side, each corner. So it's going to be four each side. I'm going to use the knife. Just be careful once again. Oh, pretty long. Right, that's the Phillips. I've prepped some tools before I started this video. Let me just double check if it's going to be okay. Yes, it is. Anything else particular? No, just regular screw. Remember, do not tie it at the first approach time. Just leave some room. There you go. Oh, hopefully it's gonna to stay together. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Make sure everything fits perfectly, otherwise you will struggle afterwards. It's really unstable, I can tell you, it's really unstable. I told you do not tie that completely otherwise you won't be able to adjust and tweak it a bit. Now I'm just wondering what to do now. Let's just put it
feel is pretty pretty tough but okay now it's fine again I have to make sure it's not gonna be upside down I think once we've done that should be much easier afterwards It's not. No, well, going forward, <coughs> I would recommend some use some glue if you're doing this on your own. It should help you. I'm not saying super glue, however, super glue. Useful as well. Okay. Ooh, kind of. Let's put this just inside so it's not going to fall apart. Double check, everything is inside, it's supposed to be. 